Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Are you going back to school? <laughs> All right. So I just glanced at what it was. I'm like, oh. It's a stack of workbooks. Um, I'm not going to be keeping them all. I'm so terrible about this. I love to buy like workbooks um, for Chelsea. <laughs> and Target had a sale. It's still going on. So it started Sunday. Today's Tuesday. I ordered everything right away on Sunday because with everything that's going on, a lot of people are doing the home school route. And so I wanted to make sure I ordered stuff before it sold out. And it got here today already. So the sale is still going on and it'll go on through Saturday night. Um, but I made some kind of mistakes, I think. So what I ended up doing is Chelsea will be a second grader. But when I was looking at some of these books online on Target's website, I was thinking, oh, like they might be a little harder. So I think I'm going to buy first grade books, even though she's second grade, because these for in my mind I thought they were gonna be harder well then I just got them all delivered and I flipped through them and I'm like oh they're much easier than I thought they were gonna be so I have to go through them with her and figure out what we're gonna keep and use and maybe what I can take back because I'm probably not gonna need it everyone was like five dollars to ten dollars everything was under ten dollars each so like super reasonable brain quest this was really popular when I was a kid, the Brain Quest stuff, like when I was in elementary school. And so, but I was like, uh, that might be a little difficult. I flipped through it and it's, it's probably gonna be too easy for her. But the good thing about that is I also ordered the grade two for her, which looks a little bit more like on her level, I would say. Um, maybe a little tricky. Okay, so like this, she's gonna like that. Like word cert or crossword puzzle type thing, she's gonna like that. But like if you look at some of the math, some of the math is harder, so. Har I, harder for her or harder for you? No, well just <laughs> for her, well in general for like elementary school. Well, but so you don't want it to be easy? push your kids as far as they can because they'll yeah. pick up stuff that you think, oh my gosh, really, you know that? Yeah, I want it to be challenging, but I don't want it to be overwhelming because she might look at it and be like, I don't know but how to do it. she does that with Zelda and then she like beats and the things in Zelda it. and she like she didn't did think that. she could and she did. I actually, we actually just had a conversation with her about that yesterday. She wanted to accomplish something in Zelda and she was like, it's too hard. And she almost like gave up before she even really, really tried. And then she tried and had to try a few times. She did it and she was so happy. And I'm like, see how you feel? You feel like so good because you figured it out and you were able to do it. You just had to have the faith in yourself that you could do it. So anyway, um, this one again is gonna be, I think, too easy. First grade, Scholastic. In the past, I've bought the Bob's books at Target for, but I looked online and it's like pre-KK first grade and then it stops, so I don't know if they don't do hard or Well, stuff. no, that's probably what Bob is for. Yeah, again, uh, another, another one that says ages six to seven. Okay, so you bought all first grade except for one. And I don't, I think I was in such a hurry to buy the stuff that I was just like add to cart and then now I'm like, this stuff's too easy. Not all of it, but some of it. Just like clothes, you gotta buy the small, the medium, and the large and see which yeah, one fits. Yeah, you have to see what fits. And that's what I'm gonna do too is, that's a good, that's a good example um, or comparison because I'm gonna have to go through these with her and be like, okay, like what do you think of this book? Does this look too easy? Does this look too hard? Another thing I have, um, so I'm probably gonna be returning quite a few of these. I have on my computer a, a cart saved for a curriculum that I'm really wanting to buy for her, but I'm like, do I really? It's not expensive, but it's kind of. So it's been in my cart on my computer for like two weeks because I've been like waiting and like wanting to buy it, but putting it off because you can get stuff free. Like online, there's so much online learning you can do. And I just like having workbooks for her to like have the, the physical like book to do and to even take with if we want to. But anyway, that's what I got. I only got one second grade and I did just go on their website and look for more second grade and there was like not a lot. 
So I think that's probably the reason why I stocked up on these as well. And I'll say Target, they all came from Target. All that could have fit in one box and they sent me three big boxes. Oh, so that's like, on them. Now we have shipping boxes. I know, I was kind of like annoyed by it, but then I thought, yeah, that's, that'll work for packing. <laughs> Daddy just helped Chelsea find some new coloring pages. Ooh, those are really realistic looking horses, aren't they? Look at this one. That almost looks like somebody drew it like um, with, what are those called, like chalks or whatever? That's really neat. So you're gonna do more realistic colors? Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then Mommy doesn't really have any coloring pages left except for this one, which I kind of started, but then it got to be like really little and my fingers were hurting because I use colored pencils. And then Chelsea also has this other puppy one. What's the problem? Something is cooking. You got something in your boot? The other one too? My goodness. What's hiding in your boot? Is there a snake in your boot? Is that what he says, Woody? There's a snake like in my that. boot. He's <laughs> telling you yep. you shouldn't be wearing those. Yeah. Actually, she's been doing pretty darn good in soccer with those on. Well, because they're a hard toe. You can <laughs> launch been, a soccer ball. Yeah, she, we play soccer every night and she's been wearing her boots and she's been doing really awesome in soccer. She's getting really good, aren't you? First grade workbook and what we need to do is figure out if these are too easy for you. So I think maybe they will be. Write each word in the place where you would find these things at the mall. This is Sandy's. This is Ruby. Sana. Pepe's. Mexican. And Gail's. Gardening. Goodies. So you have. Tickets? Where would you use tickets? So, yeah, the movies? What's this one? High heels. Where would you put high heels? In mommy's closet. She. <laughs> I don't have any high <laughs> heels. I have like none. Um, okay. Ooh, here's a good one. Popcorn. Popcorn. Where would you put popcorn? In the movie. In mommy's closet. <laughs> what, about, what, what about this one? Coat. Tacos. Where would tacos go? Probably here. Yeah, Mexican food. What about? Candy. Candy. Did the shop? Do you like to eat candy while you watch a movie? Yeah. What about this one? Boots. Boots. Good. <laughs>